Asparagus fern, a native of southern Africa, fruits heavily through winter and into spring. It's a multi-branched, prostrate, perennial shrub and a vigorous scrambler that thrives in neglected gardens. It will grow in almost any soil, be it clay or sand, and almost any situation, be it hillside or swamp, sunshine or shade. Often found in gullies and along watercourses, asparagus fern is salt tolerant and it loves beaches. We have an established clump of asparagus here. Very old clump, it's been here for a long time. Full of red berries. And plenty of green berries as well. The bushes are all tangled up together. So what we have to do is separate them out and find out where the root is. And here it is. We have dug out an entire plant to show you what the whole thing looks like. But first, be aware that the branches of asparagus fern have many small sharp thorns, so it is essential to wear protective gloves. The plant has three primary parts, an extensive system of underground tuberous roots with attached water storage bladders that grow outwards from the central rhizome, as do the above ground branches with their small leaves and their berries. The tuberous roots and the bladders are not reproductive so you do not have to dig them out of the ground. But any part of the rhizome left in the ground will reproduce. Here it is, in there. There's the corn. So we cut this relatively small part of the plant away. And we bag it. And now, let's get back to the real thing. First of all, I'm going to cut away all of the branches and foliage. This is where the bulk of the work is. Carefully cutting back each branch, just above the rhizome, so as to leave a circle of stems to mark the location of the rhizome. Because most branches have a large number of seeds, it's easier to bag the lot. But if you find it difficult to properly dispose of this bulb, there is a way that's more economical of space. With your good quality gloves, you can strip the seeds from the branches into the bag and simply throw the bare branches onto the ground. Asparagus fern berries contain between one and a few seeds. These germinate very readily, so collect as many as you can and bag them. As you can see, there are already many small seedlings here, which we will remove later on. Of course, you won't have found every seed, so later on, you should monitor the area for new seedlings. Once the seeds are picked up, we can clear the debris away from the short stems so as to see exactly where the rhizome is. Several basic tools can be used. This plasterous cutter is good for small plants. But it's not strong enough for this large one. A sharp spade, or mattock, is also good. But again, my little digger is a bit light for this job. 
so I'll use a pita lever. It has a hefty weight, a good cutting blade and is an excellent lever. Work around it in a circle. You can see it's beginning to lift. Cutting through the roots and levering the rhizome up as you go. This work is strenuous, but if you do it this way, it doesn't take very long. And here we are, it's getting loose, and out it comes to be bagged. Now for those small seedlings. The plasterer's cutter is good for cutting the thick mat of roots in this case, but a trowel will suffice. Well, that plant's done. It's in the bag. And it's been a little bit of hard work. But look at it this way, you've had some good healthy exercise out in the sun in a lovely place. And you've been an eco-warrior. <laughs>